feel like I look like the cash me outside. How about that, girl? Hey guys, I know the bank grant's not the cutest. I have to move my filming space because I am waiting on getting another ring light. So that's why I have to sit here, which is like the old school filming spot. It's been a while and I just, um, I've obviously been going through some personal things, but I also don't really know what to film. And I hate asking what you want to see below. I've done it before, but I just don't like asking what you guys want to see because I feel like that makes me lazier. Not saying that creators that do that are lazy. I just feel like if I do that, I'm going to be lazy and not as creative. But I want to know what you guys want to see because right now my creative abilities are sort of lacking. So yeah, if you guys want to see anything in specific, let me know below. I know a a lot of people want to see q a that's been a thing for a while so anyways i just wanted to do a quick video because i got a hamster and i'm not gonna take her out right now because she's not fully tamed yet and i feel like if i try and hold her up like this you guys, she's gonna jump off my hands and run away i'm gonna insert some footage of me playing with her so you can see what she looks like up close and give you basically all the information about her in case you're wondering because i really like pet youtubers i think they're super fun to watch and interesting so i figured i might as well just give you the down low on like what I use and the knowledge that I have of hamsters. To start off, her name is Mochi and she is a long-haired Syrian hamster. There's gonna be a lot of different names for hamsters throughout pet shops and stuff like that and they're gonna say teddy bear hamsters, fancy hamsters, but realistically any hamster that is not a dwarf hamster that is domesticated is a Syrian hamster. Long-haired Syrian hamster is what it what it is. And she's a female so her hair isn't super long like the males. For some reason I could not find a male anywhere, but that's okay because I I love her the same regardless. Now I know where I got her is going to be controversial but I want to preface this with the fact that I looked on Craigslist and I looked on those breeder adoption websites for hamsters that were near me and I could not find realistically anything that I was looking for as far as like hamster breeders or something like that anywhere that was even close. The closest was about an hour away. There was no really realistic way for me to do this or even get a hamster near me unless I went to a chain pet store so I am sorry however I am glad that I got it from Petco because both Petco and PetSmart although you know I've had some beef with Petco in the past it's fine both of their enclosures are clean and nice and they seem to take good care of their hamsters so I don't worry about it that much but I know some people are gonna get upset so yeah whatever that's my spiel I got her at Petco and I was in between getting this baby dwarf winter white hamster she was about this big maybe even smaller yeah probably that big um maybe that big I don't know at PetSmart she <laughs> had just gotten there so she was a baby she was super skittish and really fast and I was worried about taming her because I just didn't want to lose her <laughs> She probably would have been easier to tame considering she is a baby, but she was really cute and I really wanted her, but I could not. She was so skittish. So I decided against it and I decided to go for a Syrian hamster. There was two hamsters at Petco that were so cute. We basically named one Matilda just because of how funny she looked when she ran. And she was super sweet. I wish I had a picture of her. She was just basically a white long-haired Syrian hamster with a little bit of tufts of gray here and there. Huge big eyes. She was so cute and actually really friendly. I got to interact with her and Mochi, which is what I ended up getting. And she would have been great if I would have gotten her. She would have been so easy to tame, I would assume, because she was super, like, fine. But I played with Mochi, on the other hand, and she was a little bit more skittish, but she was just so cute. I don't know. She has a very shy type of personality. From what I've seen, obviously, I know I'm going to see her personality a lot more because I haven't had her for that long. But I really liked her personality, and I wanted to get her, especially because I love her color too. She looked a little bit younger as well because she's a little bit smaller, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not like a hamster pro. So yeah, that's about the basics for her. I researched a lot before getting them. I've had hamsters in the past, but I was younger and didn't have necessarily the same knowledge or ability to care for them as I do now. I decided to go with a 20 gallon aquarium tank. Now this is the absolute minimum from my knowledge that you can have for a Syrian hamster. The reasoning that I got this is because the 40 gallon tanks are super expensive and I didn't really want to do a wire cage because I have other animals in the house 
and I don't really like how they look either. And this was probably the most safest, the most safest. Getting an aquarium tank was the safest option when you have other animals in the house. Plus, in my opinion, the pros far outweigh the cons of getting them, and the, there's more pros on the aquarium than the wire. I mean, the cage, I feel like it's small, but everybody who sees it says that it's huge and that she has a ton of room to run around and everything like that. I don't have a lot of toys for her yet. I have literally just like a tube that I bought her, a wheel, and then a hideaway, and I made her this what is it called? Swing thing. But now I'm freaking out that she's gonna chew on the popsicle sticks and get a splinter or something or on the twine and I just I don't want to worry about that so I took it out of her cage even though it's really cute. But I think I'm going to DIY and make her a platform to go in there with some other things and toys when I can get the chance to get them. I would like to theme her cage baby pink and stuff like that just because it would match my room's aesthetic. <laughs> but right now all of her toys are blue because that was really the only option that I had. The bedding that I use for her cage is the white care fresh bedding. I'll insert a photo here. I got this because number one it was already in her cage when I got there. It's just a paper-based bedding and then I did more research because I didn't know that there was like harmful beddings. I found out that other beddings are actually very harmful like pine and cedar. Once I figured that out I started freaking out and I know that I said I did like a lot of research beforehand and I did but I guess I hadn't put like that into the equation and I started freaking out. I was like it's care fresh safe, it's care fresh safe and it is safe. It's a paper bedding. The only downside is that it's kind of pricey but I didn't really like compare prices on the beddings so we actually got that and my mom was gracious enough to buy me the bedding as like a little blessing thrown in there. <laughs> I also got her a ball and I know that those are kind of controversial amongst hamster owners because some people feel like it's cruel to put their hamster in a ball and not have access to food and water but my opinion on it is that they can roam free and it doesn't have to be in an enclosed area. I let her roam in her ball yesterday in my friend's room while I walked watched like an anime episode or in a half or two or something like that which isn't very long. That sounds really long. It was probably like 20 to 30 minutes. And as long as you're monitoring them I don't really think it's a cruel thing. I think if anything it actually gives your hamster more exercise and an ability to roam and discover things. That's just my opinion. Please don't attack me. I have some treats and it's actually a supplemental thing for their food which I don't use as supplements unless I like want to give her an extra treat for the day. I'm gonna use them as taming treats which is good. And I have this food that I, I, this was what she was eating in the store, so I didn't want to upset her stomach. I just went ahead and got that. So we'll see. I'll have to do more research on foods and stuff like that, but I know that you're supposed to get them the same food anyways to begin out with, so I went ahead and did that. I know I need to get chewing things and stuff like that because I know that hamster's teeth continuously grow. Thankfully, though, the type of food that she has is good for teeth health. At least it says it does on the package. I think her home is actually edible, which is really nice. It's a little peanut. I mean, it's not like an actual peanut, but you get what I mean. But as far as price, overall, everything that I bought her, which includes her hideaway, wheel, tube, water bottle, which I forgot to mention, cage without a top, and ball, all cost me about $100. Now that doesn't include bedding, does not include the lid for the thing, because my dad like made the lid for right now, but it does include the cost of the hamster as well thrown in there. So if that is something you're interested in, that's a good idea to think in your mind, and I would like to thank you guys for that, because since I started doing YouTube as a job, I have really not had very much spending money. If I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like completely honest, I'm, I make typically on an average basis about half as much as I made working at a part-time retail store on minimum wage. Now, I'm not complaining because I'm making videos, which is exactly what I want to do and getting paid for this at all is completely everything. The only reason why I bring it up is because I wanted to thank you guys for supporting me in the past couple months because you have allowed me to do this and getting mochi has been a really big help lately and I know it sounds silly or dumb um, but it's true, so thank you guys. Because <laughs> you guys basically got her for me by watching my videos a lot and helping me have a good month on the YouTubes. So yeah, thank you guys so much. It's not that I only feel obligated to say that, but I would like to say that so that you know. Anyways, enough about money. That stuff doesn't really matter in the end. I'm not really sure what else to talk about. I believe that she's probably around eight weeks old. I believe that it's six to eight weeks where the hamsters get put into the pet shop. I'm not sure positive, don't quote me on that but she's somewhere around there and we'll probably consider her birthday like February 12th because that's when I got her. 
if I don't know if you are new to my channel, which if you are, you probably have already clicked out of this video, but if you're looking to get a hamster, then I'm gonna go ahead and leave some links below about different types of I'm gonna go ahead and leave some links below of really good channels that have hamster advice. My favorite, favorite, favorite is Erin's Animals. She is just a, basically a professional in hamster care and is super knowledgeable. I also love Vanilla Ham Ham, so I'm gonna leave those guys below so that you can go check them out. Vanilla Ham Ham does a ton of really cute DIY stuff. But yeah, I don't know. If you guys want to see more hamsters with my videos, that's... Not what I was gonna say. If you wanna see more videos with my hamster mochi, then be sure to let me know. Not sure what we could do. We could do some DIY stuff. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to make this video because it's kind of fun and I wanted to let you know that we have a new little family member in our lives. Regardless, thank you guys for letting me make a chill out video. Get back in the groove of doing things. Again, let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see. Uh, whether that means like any, I don't know. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Bye!